I'm a forensic pathologist. That means I do autopsies in sudden, unexpected, or violent deaths. It's the last doctor's examination you will ever have. I do it in order to figure out why people died and also to collect evidence. So even when it's obvious that someone died of a gunshot wound or stabbing, the evidence is important because it gets gathered and used in court testimony. And then I'm also trained to testify in court and talk about my findings, educate jurors about what I found. I didn't know I wanted to be a forensic pathologist when I started. In fact, I started medicine thinking I wanted to be a surgeon. Then I did a rotation when I was in medical school in pathology. And then in residency, I did a rotation at the New York City office of the chief medical examiner studying forensics. Every day, I'd open up the newspaper and I'd find clippings about what happened that day, car crashes, accidents, and then I would go to work and find out what really happened. That experience of waking up in the morning and opening the paper, discovering just the surface and then delving into what really happened at work was overwhelming to me and exciting. You need to be able to develop boundaries in terms of your life as a professional, but it's hard. I mean, I get home at the end of the day and my kids are there and they want to discuss what they did that day. So after listening to the regular who got in trouble at the playground and who did what to whom at school, um, it's usually my turn to talk about my work. Judy comes home with a lot of crazy stories uh, of what she does on the job. As a stay-at-home dad to a toddler boy, I didn't have quite as exciting a day as she did usually. I developed a stronger stomach over, uh, over dinner time and, uh, and it was fascinating. Her work was, was always and still is, is really fascinating to me. I can't watch TV shows about forensic topics. Um, they just are ridiculous to me. As Judy starts yelling at the television and, and I think she's thrown a shoe at the TV before, I just have to shut it off. I won't let her watch them. She starts screaming about the lighting all the time. Turn on some lights! Turn on some lights! It's, it's a television show. Just the lighting drives me crazy. I mean, when I go out to a crime scene and it's somebody's house and it's dark, I don't walk around with a flashlight. I turn on the lights. <laughs> and that's something that they just get all wrong. You need good lighting. Even in the morgue, you need good lighting <laughs> to be able to see what you're investigating. They're entertainment. They don't reflect the reality of what Judy and her colleagues does. And I think that is a big part of the reason why she wanted to write Working Stiff, is because she wanted to represent what doctors like her actually do.